Okay guys, uh, one small step at a time, so what I've now done, that the heater chain is all connected up uh, and since I'm using all metal valves and since I learned from John uh, in Arkansas that uh, pin 1 is always connected to the case I've connected all the pin 1's together and connected it to chassis so uh, Hopefully, um, that'll help, um, and I'll avoid accidentally using pin 1's for things that uh, you might get away with with glass tubes, but you wouldn't get away with with metal 1's. Uh, the next step, uh, I'm afraid, is going to be uh, making a drawing, uh, getting all the pin numbers for these valves. So then the other thing I've been doing is trying to get a decent drawing. And so I took the best one that I could find because um, most of them have like pieces missing of the drawing up around here. Uh, so I've refixed that. Um, I've put all the um, pin numbers for the valves in. Uh, at least this is what I think they all are. Um, and uh, identified which is the grid cap for all the relevant ones, etc, etc. Tidied it up as best I can, plenty of photoshopping. Um, and so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do some uh, continuity checking to make sure I have these uh, pin numbers identified correctly because um, like there's two anodes here, pin 3 and pin 6. I might have got them the wrong way around. Uh, I don't think so, but I'll check. Uh, by measuring at continuity on the uh, on the reference set. So uh, I think I think I have a, a drawing that is a circuit diagram that is usable at this point, and so uh, means I can get on with uh, the rest of the wiring up of this uh, little beast. <laughs> 